One of my favourite solar lights packed up tonight and I brought it in to fix it. And it's this sort of globe type that has a translucent dome and it's got a solar panel and LED underneath and during the day the light passing through the dome charges it up and then at night time the dome is illuminated, the globe is illuminated internally by the LED. And I changed the LED, it was originally a cold white and I put a green one in, put various colours in in fact in the garden. And what actually happened with this one is because it's something that's happened before and it's a bit of a design fault with these. They tend to fill up with water, you can see water everywhere and the, the globe is absolutely full of water condensation inside because the water gets in round the threads and fills up the base. And that's not usually a problem because it does just end up finding its way down the hole and drains out. But because of the design of these, the battery clip is a sort of plastic spring catch that the cell just pushes into and it points the leads directly onto the base. And when the water um, gets in, it causes electrolytic corrosion of these contacts. So to counteract this, I've snapped one of the lug off and I'm going to glue the uh, battery in sideways so it's away from the water. But the way it actually corroded was interesting because when you submerge two electrodes into the water, it, the metal tends to flow from the positive to the negative. And the, the red wire, it just looked like it had been cut flush. The copper was completely etched right into the end and the wire had come off and then it had just started doing the solder on the connection. And because the stainless steel is quite robust as a sort of electrode, it had eaten all the solder and everything off. It was just looked like a clean, as if there'd never ever been a solder connection there anyway. And there had. The wire had been soldered on before. So to get that to stick again, I had to abrade it and use some flux because the um, flux they would have used and the solder at the time would have been optimised to go onto this metal, which I do think is stainless steel. And um, that's soldered back on now. And I'm going to also, I think, while this is open, I think I'll put a wee solder blob across the switch because the switch is also prone to corrosion internally. This is just the nature of um, electrolytic corrosion. It tends to eat metal away. I do Christmas lights, municipal Christmas lights, from time to time, and I've opened like the inline rectifiers you get, and found that the water has got into them. And on the DC side, there's the whole tracks have gone. They've not been blown up and evaporated. They've just physically eaten away until all the metal had gone um, on them. It's quite uh, surprising the effect it has. This same electrolytic effect is used to clean uh, stainless steel too. You can get rust and other um, contaminants off it using a pad, um, just applying a DC current. It, it's bit, I think it must be called elect electrolytic cleaning or something, I'm not 100% sure. But it basically a conductive liquid is applied and um, it just transfers the uh, unwanted metals from the stainless steel onto the collection electrode. So that's me put a link a blob across the two solder switch the switch connections and I'll just glue this back in and that should be this ready to go again with its green LED. So then I'll stick it back out in the garden. So there we go, I might have to check the others and see um, if they're uh, suffering the same fate, although it is at least easily repairable.